Isaiah chapter 2 verses 1 to 5 The future house of God The word that Isaiah son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem In days to come the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills All the nations shall stream to it Many people shall come and say Come Let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Today is St Andrew's Day. Andrew, often referred to as the first disciple to be called, transformed from being a fisherman to a fisher of men, and many times seen as the person who quietly brought people to Jesus. Advent, a season of transformation as well as anticipation. The Isaiah reading is full of familiar phrases and images of transformation. He will settle disputes for many peoples. They'll beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war any more. This was written against a backdrop of insecurity. The people of Judah had been living under the very real threat of invasion. They feared they were losing control over their land. And to Judeans, to be truly safe was to have your own bit of land to grow crops. Isaiah speaks of hope. But there is a choice to be made, which culminates in this reading with, come. Let us walk in the light of the Lord. These past months have seen insecurities for many, but we also see signs of transformation, new cooperation between countries out of necessity, a re-evaluation of what is important in life, large numbers tuning into online worship. May we, like Andrew, show to others that transformation of baby, born in hardship, but bringing hope and salvation to the world. Let us walk in the light of the Lord and rejoice with the words of the hymn.
Let us pray. We pray that we may welcome Jesus this Christmas season and that one day the words from Isaiah will be fulfilled in all places where conflict persists. As we wait for that day, giving thanks for work being done and the work still to do, we pray for all who are working for peace. Help us to realise the purpose of the coming of Jesus Christ for all humankind. So may we patiently anticipate the great and true joy that only Christ can bring, the hope and potential he offers always. As Andrew pointed to Jesus, so may we in this Advent season play our part in transforming your world bringing comfort, peace and joy into the hearts of those around us, as we too point to Jesus. Amen.